In this week's episode of Working with Todoist, I'm going to show you all the different ways you can email tasks into Todoist. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Working with Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you all about email and specifically how to email tasks directly into Todoist. Now the reason for this is quite simple. Last week I put out a question on my Facebook page and on Twitter asking viewers to send in the requests that they on topics they would like me to cover in this series and the number one request was email and more specifically how to email tasks into Todoist. So that's what we're going to cover today. So I thought about this and I realized that we all use different email clients. I use a fantastic email client called Newton but I know a lot of people just use the default email programs on their smartphone and on their computers, their laptop or their desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to email tasks into Todoist from Apple's Mail. I'm also going to show you how to do it in Newton because I know many of you guys out there are using Newton. And I'm also going to show you how to do it in Gmail. Now Gmail actually is quite unique because there is a specific Todoist plugin that makes emailing tasks directly into Todoist from Gmail actually very good. Now unfortunately with you guys out there using Outlook because there's so many different variations of Outlook I have Outlook for Mac on my computer but I cannot get the plugin that Todoist offers for Outlook. For those of you guys out there who use Outlook on Windows I believe there is a plugin that you can use that will directly send email to your Todoist inbox. So before we go any further though, I would just like to say if you like this episode, please click on the like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Oh, and one more thing, sorry, one more thing. If you do have anything you would like me to cover in this series, please leave a note in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to put together a video for you helping you to, sh to show you how to do whatever it is that you want to do in Todoist. Okay, let's now get straight into Todoist and I will show you what I mean. Okay, so as we can see right here we have zero items in my inbox. I have achieved inbox zero, but I must confess this is really just my demo account. Okay, so let's go into, well, Newton is up first. So, <clears throat> here's an email I sent to myself just a minute ago and it's got Todoist email demo. Now in Todoist, in Newton, we have a rather special way of doing this and that is if I click on the three buttons at the side, I can just hit Todoist and I can now send that directly to my inbox. I can send this to any project I want in Todoist. This is one of the reasons why I actually love Todoist, uh, Newton Mail, because it makes things so much easier for me just by clicking on the three dots. Now, the thing is, this is going to send to my regular Todoist account, but we'll come back to that one in a moment and I'll show you how Newton shows that. So that's now gone. We're going to move in now to my uh, Apple Mail, the regular default Apple Mail that comes up when you have a MacBook or whatever Apple computer you have. So I click on that. So we got the, this is a test email. Now, for this kind of an account, Apple doesn't have any integrations with Todoist. So what we have to do is we have to forward this email to Todoist. So I'm going to type in Todoist, see if my Todoist demo, no, it doesn't come in. So I click on, if I actually type in paste because I copied the text earlier, then I can just send that now directly to my Todoist account. And the final one I want to show you is sending email to the Gmail account, from the Gmail account. So here I am in my Gmail account and basically again because I've already forwarded it that's come up but I'm going to go into this particular one. 
Now, the beauty of Gmail on the web, now I have to be confessed, this doesn't actually work on the mobile version yet. Maybe it will come in future updates. I've got this little button here, add to to do it. So if I click on that, and I'm gonna denote this one because this is actually really cool, and then send that add task. So that's now gone. Okay, so what we have in is all these emails have been sent. I'm going to go back to my Todoist and I've got two. Yes, I've got two because the Newton one has gone to a different account. So when you look at the Apple Mail one, you're going to see the email in the notes section here. So I can hit forward. And it's going to open up the email as it would look in my. So this is just a test email. OK, it's not showing images, but that's the way that it's showing. So this is really for me. This is actually very good. I can um, add comments via email so I can add. Um, but this was really just related to your to do list. It's not related to the email itself. So if you want to reply to this, you would need to go back into your email account. So that's one way of doing it. Now, for me, the Gmail account, if you're not using Uton, is actually the best way to do it. Because when I click on the clickable link, like so, this is going to open up in Gmail web, the Gmail web client. And I get straight to the email itself. So I can click on that and now I can hit reply. I can do whatever I want to this email directly from my inbox with just one click. I actually love that feature in the Gmail application. The only problem is I don't really like Gmail web version because it to me it's still ugly even after they've updated it. But that's just my personal opinion. OK, so we're going back to this one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what's happened with my regular one I was over here and I need to refresh this. So there you go. The Todoist email has come in from Newton. If I click on that, that's going to open up Newton directly for me. Now, this is a new feature that's recently come out in Newton. I'm not sure exactly when. It's just a few weeks ago, but that's now going to take me directly to the email itself from directly into Newton so I don't actually have to do anything but it's not quite as nice to be fair as the way that it works in Gmail because Gmail you get this wonderful icon telling me that it was an email so of course you can add things like the p values so you can have priority you can add dates and you can and do things like that I don't usually mess around with that because I'm going to process my inbox within the next 24 hours and any email that is urgent I'm probably going to reply to pretty much immediately. But there you go. That's just some of the ways that you can get email directly into your inbox. Before I finish I should just point out that to get your inbox email address all you have to do is click on the, the tool icon at the side there. Click on that and it says email task to this project click on that and you can then copy the task directly to your email you can set due dates by just typing date and then tomorrow or date whatever you want to do you can read more about that by clicking on that link you can set labels just by adding the at sign and you can set priorities using the exclamation marks one or exclamation mark three or one or two or four whatever you want to do Okay, hopefully that's given you a pretty good overview of how you can get email directly into your Todoist. Of course, remember, if you have any features you'd like me to cover in Todoist, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And apart from that, it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.